On this episode of the Did Y'all See After Show, we're joined by Empire's Malik Yoba. He talks about everything from his charity, checking trolls, and getting kicked off the show. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Did Y'all See After Show. Today we're joined by Malik Yoba. Malik, thank you for being here with us this after, this morning. Yeah, she's cheesing. She's right, excited. right. <laughs> right, you know we're big fans. We're huge oh, fans. Good. Yeah, yeah. So um, we wanted to talk to you about, I think, most recently, Empire. And like your departure from the show a right. little bit. In the head, right. blood on the floor. <laughs> Dead, gone, not to be seen no more. That's the story of Vernon. <laughs> Were you shocked? Um, yeah, I was surprised, you know, but I mean, at the end of the day, my father always said, uh, build your own generator so when they turn off the power, you still have lights. Mm, right. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, as actors, you're just an employee, mm -hmm. right? You're subjected to the story and someone's vision of where they want to go. And the thing about television is you don't always know beforehand. Sometimes you find out kind of when the audience finds out. Mm -hmm. But how did y'all feel about it? Were y'all sad to see me go? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was feeling some type of way. <laughs> how did you feel about that? I felt like... Do y'all realize look, I turned look, the interview yeah, around? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see if y'all realize what's going on right now. <laughs> I kind of felt the way. And then when you said that you felt like your character wasn't developed all right. the way? For me, it was interesting because um, in a lot of ways it felt like deja vu, mm -hmm. right? So uh, 20 years prior, 21 years prior, we did New York Undercover. Mm -hmm. So everything down to the uh, photographer that shot the first press photos, uh, Michael Levine, uh, he shot those for New York Undercover, the, fa the now, I guess, iconic shots of mm -hmm. us by the Brooklyn Bridge that were on the album cover. And, and so the same guy shot that. A lot of the same executives were there. So for me, it felt very much um, like deja vu and like a reunion. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, it became a funeral. So, <laughs> so, you know, I mean, it, it is what it is. Um, fortunately, um, you know, I've been working on that generator for a long time. Mm -hmm. So even while I was shooting, I'm still juggling like 15 other things. So um, the goal has always been to produce and direct and to own and sort of like mogul them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so, right. yeah. So what are you working on right now? What can we look forward to? Um, you know, some of the best times in my life, you know, I, I was just recently uh, keynote at, um, for Edward Jones Financial mm -hmm. um, a company um, in uh, St. Louis last Friday. And I was doing a keynote on, for their mentorship, the culmination of the year-long mentorship program. And the whole message that I was speaking about was everything in my life has come as a result of being of service to other people. A lot of the things that I'm involved in, including uh, my lifestyle firm that I've co-founded, Iconic 32 is all about using what I've been doing for the last few decades, uh, which is being a part of pop culture, and really positioning it in a way that you can promote social good. Like I'm in the process of pitching uh, a few shows right now, both reality, um, and also a narrative, mm. one hour drama. You would be in the reality show? Not in the reality show. Oh, okay. um, not in the reality show, but there's a show called Pledge um, that I'm pitching right now, and I'll say it because it's about mm. speaking things into existence. Okay. So Pledge yeah. is a dope, dope piece written by an incredible writer named Stephanie Perry Moore, who's a Delta, mm. and she wrote, uh, it's based on a, a series of books that she had written, and it takes place um, on a fictional HBCU and it's all about the Greek life and these kids pledging their lives to various things and trying to mm. enter these organizations. And, and to me, that's closer to my lane, okay. you know what I mean? Mm. Um, I've been an advocate for education for youth for a long time, um, so to play a school president okay. or a show like that and to be able to you know, go into these networks now and studios and say, you know, in my, in my opinion, it's like the next empire, but younger generation. On a bit of a more personal note, <laughs> in your personal life, we've, you seen, personal. <laughs> we've seen you Check like me. on your personal Twitter account when you're speaking as yourself. People have tried to come for you. Like there's this woman, she was saying something about your lips. And then there was this blogger who said something. Oh, so he, he alleged that you were fired from Empire because of you were using drugs. Like you went, yeah. you went after both of these people. So a lot of times people no, think. I didn't, I didn't go after the person that, uh, first of all, there were a lot of people that um, chose You didn't track to, them down? 
him tra track him down. Well, we didn't go after. I mean, I mean, not we, like you know with guns. We, and we, nah, <laughs> we, we uh, no. Nah, I mean, it's unfortunate, you mm -hmm. know, that people will choose to use uh, social media to, um, you know, spew negativity. But it's it's hardcore for me. Um, yes, I've gone at people because you might catch me on a bad day, mm -hmm. and I'm really not trying to like feel your negativity, and I'm not always turning the other cheek. I hope not to do that anymore. <laughs> Because I don't think that's showing my mm -hmm. best side. Mm -hmm. I have to evolve <laughs> and not take things personally like the I was four here agreements. For that personally. I was like, just because we, we get that same type of stuff too, and we try to defend ourselves. It's like, yeah. oh, Madam Noir, are you being unprofessional? I'm like, no, but you hurt my feelings. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I have to defend myself. Like, right. you know, and people, I think they don't, they don't, they feel like you're not, if I'm behind a computer screen, I don't see the hurt in your face yeah. when I tell you certain but things. But before that, it used to be the people, like if you watch Jerry Springer or even back in the day, mm -hmm. like Donnie, there were always those people in the audience that couldn't wait to get mm -hmm. the mic in their face yeah. to tell you all <laughs> and what you need to do, what you raise your kid to do. It's those, it's those people's kids mm -hmm. that, are, that are like, it's, cra it's crazy, but you know, that's part of it. I just want to thank you ladies at Madame Noir uh, <laughs> this afternoon for your time. Um, you. Lauren, Veronica, and Jasmine with a Z. Mm -hmm. um, I just want you to know that um, thank you for coming by and answering my questions <laughs> in the interview. Um, it wouldn't be the same without you here, so <laughs> please invite your friends to join us next time on Madden Noir. Um, what's the name of our show? Did y'all see after show? Did y'all see what I just did? Yeah. Okay, so, do you have YouTube? Of course you do, because it's on the internet and it's free, so you can actually subscribe to this YouTube channel. And what is it called? YouTube.com backslash Madame Noir. There you go, Madame Noir. <laughs>